Code is a one-hour introduction to computer science for kids of all ages. Participating in the event allows kids to explore the world of programming, which is a valuable skill for anyone to have in our world today. On behalf of Women in Tech Maldives, thank you so much for volunteering to become a mentor. We picked a few games that are easy to understand for the age group that you will be mentoring. You do not need to have a background in computer science, you will only need to guide your students through simple tasks where the games will provide instructions on what they're expected to do. On the day of the event, you will demo the first three stages of your game and then let your students take it from there. Please note that you must complete the game yourself so that if any of your students struggle with the level, you would be able to guide them. If you are unsure of how to complete a level, find an issue with the game or have any other queries, please reach out to us. So let's begin with our tutorial. This activity is an interactive lesson where your students will be able to watch videos, read text uh, to learn more about AI, and then complete some activities in order to meet the objective and move forward. There are five lessons, however, each one has lots of information, lots of activities. And so you can just let your students see you complete a few of those activities and then let them take it from there. So you'll click on start and as you can see there's a lot of video that will give information about the activities that they will be completing but they'll also be able to read the transcript if they're having poor internet connection. For now I'll click on next. The learning outcomes are outlined and then they learn some more information through a video. And then we have the first activity so it's a true or false question where it says AI learns from what you type and predicts what you will say next and the answer here is true but if your students get false for example they will see okay try again so that way they'll know okay this is the actual right answer your students will also be able to click on the hint icon at the bottom here in order to get some more information in case they did not get the answer right it just summarizes some of the information that was in the video that they watched in order to answer this question so that they'll be able to proceed forward once they get the right answer it'll go to the next one so it's another question and this time it says select the type of ai that suggests the content you see on social media based on your preferences so that's a recommender system so we'll select that And now it says select the example that generative AI can't create. So generative AI can create art, essays, songs, but not personal emotions. So we'll select that. So once you do a few of those questions, you can just let your students then take over from there. And since there are five levels and just lots of information and activities for the kids to do, they will hopefully be able to utilize that entire hour for the event to complete the game. For this activity, your students will not be given an auto-generated certificate. So in order to generate a batch of certificates for the class, please head to studio.code.org slash certificate slash batch, and then type the names of your students on separate lines. Then click generate certificates. You can generate 30 at a time. Or else you can also let your students generate it themselves by going to studio.code.org slash congrats. Students can personalize their certificate by putting in their name and clicking submit. They can then save their certificate and share their accomplishment. At this point, if they have more time, they can go on to the next activity, or if this is the end of their session, you can ask them if they enjoyed it, what they liked best, and to share their creations with the rest of the class so that you can all take a look at the unique solutions developed by each student. Thanks again for taking time out to help students discover the magic of programming. This helps to broaden participation in the field of computer science. We hope you enjoyed the event as much as your students and we hope to see you again next year.